this week's episode of Fighting Wild TV. So Diving for a Cause blends two wonderful things, charity and a really fun activity, spearfishing. And when I found out about the organization, it was really eye-opening to see how many people around the world took their passion for spearfishing and put it towards a good cause. Uh, the group travels around the world. They are self-funded, they're a 501c3, and they keep enough fish for dinner, but everything after that goes to the less fortunate, which is a really special thing, especially with the abundance of what we have in the Gulf of Mexico and other places around the world. Closed captioning is brought to you by Global Outdoors. Find your next adventure and share your experiences with others by downloading the Global Outdoors mobile app or visiting globaloutdoors.com. Every day, we strive to preserve traditions that have spanned generations. Around every turn of the bayou, Mother Nature reveals unique people, places, and experiences and the bounty of animals and fish. Well, in Louisiana, we just call that land yak. I'm Don Dubuque. I'm Chris Lacombe. I'm Captain Martha Spencer. Join us as we document the adventure, sportsmanship, and heritage that make us Bayou Wild. It's internationally known that spearfishing is one of the most humane and sustainable styles of fishing. Divers can handpick which fish to pursue, with low risk for loss. Free dive spear fishermen and women use diaphragmatic breathing techniques to reach depths that fish dwell. They focus, take aim, and release a band-loaded steel shaft into a fish. Spearfishers take tremendous pride in knowing where their fish come from, transcending depths in everything from cobalt blue water to murky bottoms. Aside from sustainability, Divers around the world take their sport to the next level, diving for an organization called Diving for a Cause. Founded by Colleen Gallagher of California, spearfishers from around the globe share their harvest with the less fortunate through Divers for a Cause. I could donate to the Red Cross, right? Or why not create my own nonprofit and find a way to actually take my money and see where it goes? So when you give a child a gift, and it could be so simple, i.e. a ball, you really see their whole face light up and you realize that this is something that I take for granted every day. I can go down to Rite Aid and buy it, right? But for these children, it means the world. So when I was able to actually hand that off to them and get engaged with them, and then I saw all the divers play soccer with the kids out in the courtyard, it just, yeah, it really made my heart sing because that just is what DFACT is about, doing something for the community, specifically for the children. In Louisiana, we live to cook. 
and we know a little Louisiana flavor brings any meal to life. Whether it's Friday's fish fry or Tuesday's crispy chicken, with Louisiana fish fry, you can turn any meal into a bona fide family favorite. Let's all Louisiana. This is Don Dubuque asking you to join me as a member of the Coastal Conservation Association. For 30 years, CCA has worked in Louisiana to conserve our incredible fisheries, making sure that our fishing is great today and for generations to come. Whether looking out for redfish and specks, eliminating gill nets, building reefs across the coast, or work at the state capitol and in D.C., CCA is doing what's best for the fish and the sport we love so much. Your $30 membership will ensure that this work and our great fishing endures well into the future. Go to CCALouisiana.com and join CCA today. An incredible six and a half minutes. That's all it takes for a raging boil and perfect seafood with a high-performance cooker done with special tunnel tubes increasing three times the surface area of the high-performance pot. And what that means to seafood lovers like you and me is less fuel burn, more time to socialize, and most of all, better quality boiled seafood. Go to hbcookers.com and find a retailer near you. Use discount code 5OUTDOORS and save on your high-performance cooker. That's hpcookers.com, discount code 5OUTDOORS. down in Venice, Louisiana with Diving for a Cause. We are going to spear some fish for a good cause. All right, go ahead. out of Cypress Cove Marina. It was a midsummer morning, a pretty warm day, and uh, we were targeting reef species. So the day before, the guys had shot some cobia, some mangrove snapper, and uh, Captain uh, Brandon decided that we were gonna go after a red snapper for the day. That was our target species. Well, we know there's a lot of red snapper in Louisiana, but it sure didn't take long to find them. So the guys that we had diving that day were from all over the world. We had a gentleman from Australia, we had guys from the East Coast, the Gulf Coast, the West Coast, a little bit of everything. And they were definitely very well experienced divers. But for many of them, it was not their first time to Louisiana. The Gulf of Mexico is known for great fish, and Venice in particular because of the mouth of the river. There's just an abundance of life and different species. And they pretty much recognize that. They recognize the uniqueness of diving the oil rigs. It's not something you do in very many places. And they really appreciated the life we had in the ecosystems that are pretty much in our backyard. So it's definitely a place that they enjoy coming back to every year. 
from Australia. Um, I live about on the east coast of Australia, in between Sydney and Brisbane. Um, I used to live in San Francisco for a couple of years. And um, yeah, I come over and do these trips just to meet up with some of my friends and have some fun. Got involved with them through a real good dive buddy of mine that I met in California when we were doing the FII free diving course. Um, Doug Kazansky, he um, introduced me to Colleen Gallagher and we linked up on our first diving for a cause trip um, in Louisiana three years ago. Um, you know, he, I got on a few calls with Colleen to learn about the organization and you know, being able to spearfish and give back to you know, communities in need, like Second Harvest, um, or helping feed the hungry in Southern Louisiana. It's just so cool to be able to do something you're passionate about and then give back at the same time. Yeah, I started spearfishing around 2013. Um, what got me into it, oddly enough, was before, way before then, that movie Into the Blue with Paul Walker, he diving around with a Hawaiian sling, and uh, just Googled it and saw that you could actually spear fish. So, you know, I looked into that, and you know, when I was down the shore, and started doing it with a couple buddies, just diving my river in New Jersey, and uh, some dirty water. But uh, you know, I was hooked immediately after the first day. But as I became a charter captain, I just didn't have a lot of time to actually get in the water anymore. So I went along and I said, hey guys, you know, I'll jump in the water with a camera, but I hadn't speared a fish in about a year or so. But the weather was so nice and the conditions were so good that they encouraged me to go make a dive. And sure enough, I went down on the right leg of the rig and shot my first little best snapper. weekend in itself was pretty much a perfect weekend. They had actually spearfished for two weekends and had two great weekends, but the day we got to go out, really everything came together perfectly. The seas weren't bad, the water was warm, the clarity of the water was great, so it wasn't hard to find the fish, and there was an abundance of them. And the divers were so good at what they do that we easily finished the day with a boat limit before the day was done.
Some things in life smell delicious. Others, not so much. Like a gas leak. Propane, for instance, is naturally odorless. That's why we add strong odorants to alert you if there is a leak. So if you ever smell gas, turn your system off at the tank and call your propane dealer immediately. Propane is a safe and exceptional fuel, and we want to keep it that way. In Louisiana, we live to cook, and we know a little Louisiana flavor brings any meal to life. Whether it's Friday's fish fry or Tuesday's crispy chicken, with Louisiana fish fry, you can turn any meal into a bona fide family favorite. Let's all Louisiana. One of the reasons why Double D has been around for 50 years is because we are consistent with what built the business. And we go to great lengths to make sure that when you bring a, a deer or a hog or whatever it may be, your meat stays your meat all the way through the process. But we want to be as true to the original intent, which is a local meat company. And, and that's something that we want to maintain for as long as the Lord lets us do it. Delta Marina is Plaquemines Parish fishing one-stop. Get live bait, fuel, ice, tackle, and marine supplies. Then launch into the world's most productive saltwater fishing. Return to the fishing cleaning station, relax in first-class cabins overlooking the bayou, all in Delta Marina's safety video monitored parking lot. Need a fishing charter guide? Delta Marina can hook you up. Cook your catch in your kitchenette or dine in the upstairs restaurant. Visit Delta Marina for a day or a week. Stop in just off Highway 11 down Rosemary Drive in Empire. Visit the deltamarina.com. Welcome back. We're here with Nathan Judis from Baton Rouge, who is a self-professed wild game connoisseur. And we found you on Instagram a few months back and decided we had to have you because yep. your meals look outstanding. How did you get inspired to become so interested in taking it to the next level with wild game? Yeah, so I've always hunted and fished, and I always love to cook. Um, and I just like to elevate meals a little differently. Um, John Foles, did you hear that word? <laughs> elevate. <laughs> And it's always good to have a really good home cooked meal yes. as opposed to going, uh, you know, out to a restaurant. It can get expensive, and Absolutely. if you have if you have a freezer full of awesome wild game or fish, you know, why not cook it up? So we're doing more than just blackening things Absolutely. and frying things; just kind of kicking it up. We've got some snapper here. What are we going to be making today? All right, we're going to be making a, a Thai spice snapper with a coconut curry sauce and uh, some some. I'm uh, intimidated already. Cilantro <laughs> lime rice. It's super easy. Okay. Um, so first we're going to start just with a little bit of olive oil in our saucepan right here. And we're going to put some uh, bell peppers, some garlic, some red onions, and some uh, ginger. If you don't have fresh ginger or you don't have you know, a way to grate it and do all that, can you use just a powdered ginger? Or does you could, you could use powdered ginger. A lot of stores, now this is lemongrass. We're going to add about two tablespoons of lemongrass also. Where do they you do, find that? You can find this at basically any store, okay. Albertsons, Walmart, anything like that. Okay. Um, they also sell this in ginger as well. Um, Perfect, if that's you can't find do. fresh ginger. So. About how much of that? That's about a tablespoon to two tablespoons. Okay. And we'll let that brown. Um, we don't need to add any salt or any pepper because we're going to be adding some uh, green curry paste and some fish sauce, and that's going to add our salt and our spice to it. And now for folks that are maybe a little afraid of spice, can you pretty much tune this recipe to your level of spice? Yes, you can. Um, be careful. You might want to try it with maybe a tablespoon or two. I go with about a quarter of a cup because I like it spicy. Of what? And I like a quarter, quarter of a cup of curry. Okay. Yeah, the green curry. So this is going to cook down for, for about how long? This will cook down for about two to three minutes until it just starts to get a little bit of color. And then we're going to add the curry paste, the coconut milk, and some stock to it, and a little bit of fish sauce. All right, so we're going to move on to our red snapper. We have a uh, filet here, and what we did is we scaled it. Um, this is going to add crispy skin. It's going to add flavor. Um, I always like to keep the skin on, whether it has the scales or not. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to season this with a little salt and some Thai seasoning. 
When you say Thai seasoning, is this something that you've made or? Uh, yes, because I couldn't find any. Okay. So, so what it, are the spices involved in so that? So it has a little cumin, some cayenne pepper, um, some coriander. You can smell it for sure. Yeah, some, uh, let's see what else, some ginger. And so what we're gonna do also uh, to where we make sure we get crispy skin is that we're gonna flour the skin a little bit. And that's just gonna add, help it dry out and also add to the crispiness of it. All right. So we've got our sauce cooking and thickening a little bit, and now it's time to cook the fish. Now it's time to cook the red snapper. All right, so like I said, we dusted it with flour, seasoned it, and we're gonna get the skin side down. You wanna see the flakiness on the top part, and the skin will be a you know, beautiful brown, crispy skin. All right, we've got our red snapper. It looks beautiful. We've got the skin all crisped up. Now we're gonna put it all together? Yep, we're gonna plate it. So what we have here is some cilantro uh, lime rice. Um, so we'll start with some of that on the now, plate. Now I saw you prepping this earlier. You did a little zest. Did some lime zest, some lime juice, and some uh, cilantro. All right, and then we're gonna place this crispy skin For those snapper. folks, you do just regular lime rice. <laughs> oh yes. Look at the crispy skin, and we're gonna ladle some of the, the Thai curry broth on the side. So you don't mess up the crispiness? So you the don't crispiness. mess up the crispy skin. Oh my goodness, that looks outstanding, all right. And you can garnish with any cilantro or anything you want to add some color to it, but you know, it's ready to eat like it is right now. ready to eat, I guess that means we yeah, have to we eat. we have to huh? dive in. We'll see how spicy this curry really is. <laughs> Give me a spoon here. I'm gonna take a corner so we can not mess up our picture. It's really good. Too spicy? As you mentioned, you have to give it a few seconds, yep. but no, it's not too spicy. The heat with the curry hits you a few seconds later. Yes. This is outstanding. I'm gonna try this. Well done. Thank you. An incredible six and a half minutes. That's all it takes for a raging boil and perfect seafood with a high performance cooker done with special tunnel tubes increasing three times the surface area of the high performance pot and what that means to seafood lovers like you and me is less fuel burn, more time to socialize, and most of all, better quality boiled seafood. Go to hbcookers.com and find a retailer near you. Use discount code 5OUTDOORS and save on your high-performance cooker. That's hpcookers.com, discount code 5OUTDOORS. season of Bayou Wild TV, and that means new merchandise. Head on over to BayouWildTV.com for t-shirts, hoodies, and performance shirts, featuring scenes taken directly from our shows. We love our children. We protect them. We guide them. We prepare them for life in the world. With all that we do, from deep in our hearts, we cannot control all things. Life-threatening illnesses and disabilities affect far too many of our children each year. While we cannot change the circumstance, we can make dreams come true. Dreams to provide hope, to provide spiritual healing and strength, to provide moments of happiness and relief in the hardest of times. We can give a glimmer of light and hope in a time of darkness and despair. Join huntofalifetime.org to help make dreams come true, to provide hope for children with life-threatening illnesses and disabilities. Hunt of a Lifetime is a nonprofit organization fulfilling dreams for hunting and fishing trips to youth 21 and under with life-threatening illnesses and disabilities. Visit huntofalifetime.org to learn how you can 
make a difference. So diving for a cause blends two wonderful things, charity and a really fun activity, spearfishing. And when I found out about the organization, it was really eye-opening to see how many people around the world took their passion for spearfishing and put it towards a good cause. Uh, the group travels around the world. They are self-funded, they're a 501c3, and they keep enough fish for dinner, but everything after that goes to the less fortunate, which is a really special thing, especially with the abundance of what we have in the Gulf of Mexico and other places around the world. Not only does Divers for a Cause donate 70% or more of each diver's harvest, they also support literacy, nutrition, fitness, community service, and charity fundraising with other organizations from Australia to Panama, Italy, New Zealand, and many points in between. These divers are a true definition of outdoorsmen dedicated to preserving their sport for the greater good. 2019, we, uh, we dropped it off at the New Orleans Mission location, which was pretty cool. We saw some of the people coming over there that were actually in need getting some help. And um, yeah, it was great to be able to be there and contribute and, and meet the people working it, and volunteering as well to see it all come together. Protein is one of the most requested items and it's the smallest percentage of donations that we actually get. Well, the people are sort of then I got to maybe never have an opportunity to eat uh, fresh lemon fish. Some of these people have probably never tasted fish like this. And we just take it for granted and I can't take them home with me, so may as well help someone out. Divers visit locations across the globe to spear fish for diving for a cause only shooting sustainably harvestable fish while enjoying the scenery and giving back. Their charitable efforts and respect for the oceans are what we think make them Bayou Wild.